This course is about problem solving. It's my motto that any problem worth solving is worth thinking about. To that end, I have a series of uh, example problems that we'll try throughout the course just to sort of get your intellectual juices flowing. So here's one now. This is called the Smolian's Island problem. In Smolian's Island, the inhabitants on the island are either what were known as truth tellers or liars. That is, everybody that lives on this island is either known to always tell the truth or known to always lie. Let's say that you meet two people on the island, Glenn and Maggie. So Glenn and Maggie walk up to you and they, they're both going to tell you something and it's your job to figure out which one of these is a truth teller and which one of these is a liar. So Glenn, he walks up to you and he says, exactly one of us is lying. Maggie, her statement is that at least one of us is telling the truth. So now your job is to figure out between Glenn and Maggie, are they both truth tellers and both liars? Who's telling the truth and who's lying? So how do you go about resolving this problem? I want you to pause the video just for a second, think about this problem and see what you can do to come up with a solution to the small Yen's Island problem. Okay, so let's now think about this problem. Um, in this case, we have a proposition. The proposition is that Glenn is a truth teller. So I'll say proposition P is that Glenn is a truth teller. Proposition Q is that Maggie is a truth teller. A proposition is just any statement that has to be either true or false. And so we have these two propositions. P is that Glenn is a truth teller and Q that Maggie is a truth teller. And so what we want to do is evaluate what are all the possibilities that exist for these two propositions in this, uh, in, in this problem. So what we have is that P and Q, it might be that P is true and Q is true, so that both Glenn and Maggie are both truth tellers. It might be that Glenn is a truth teller, but Maggie is not, or that Glenn is a liar and Maggie is the truth teller, or that they're both liars. So this would represent a, a model of all possible scenarios that exist in this problem. So what I want to do is, once we think about the exhaustive solutions that exist in the problem, then we can now start analyzing this by breaking the problem up into its pieces. So statement one made by Glenn was that exactly one of us is lying. And then the statement number two that was made by Maggie is that at least one of us is truthful. So in this case, now we have our all the world possibilities that exist, and then we have these two statements. So now what I want to do is to decompose the problem and think about these uh, individually. So in this case, exactly one of us is lying. We can look and we see we have a truth teller and we have another truth teller, so this statement is false. We look down at the next possibility, a truth teller and a liar. In this case, this statement, exactly one of us is lying, is true. Uh, here we also have that that is true, and here at uh, uh, the last case is false because both individuals are lying. Now we can evaluate uh, this statement, at least one of us is telling the truth. So in this case, that would be true. Here, that would also be true. Here, it would be true. And here, it would be false. So now we have the, all the world possibilities. Then we're able to decompose the problem, analyze the individual statements uh, as they are with respect to the uh, possibility in the world. And then now we can analyze the problem in a quantitative and a robust way. So what we have is we have a truth teller that in this first world scenario is lying and another truth teller, but it's telling the truth. But we know that truth tellers cannot lie, so it's impossible for this scenario to be uh, consistent with the, the rules of Smolian's Island. Here we have a truth teller that's telling the truth, but we have a liar that is telling the truth. And so that is also inconsistent. Again, a liar is telling the truth, so we know that that is an inconsistent possibility in this world. And so the only case that's left 
is that Glenn is a liar and Maggie is a liar. And that, uh, so we have a liar telling a lie and another liar telling a lie. So now we can decompose the problem and realize the only consistent case that exists is that both Glenn and Maggie are liars. Now, the point of this problem is not that we're going to be dealing with this type of problem exactly in our class, although it's consistent with the Boolean satisfiability problem because we have variables that we're trying to evaluate. The point is we can take a relatively weird sounding problem, we can find a mathematical model to be able to abstract the problem, and we can analyze it in a quantitative and a robust way and end up with a solution.